From a terrible tragedy 55 years ago to an incredible find, our next guest calls her own personal Christmas miracle. Joyce Wharton lost her parents, sadly, when their small plane crashed in Washington State back in 1959, year I was born. And just this week, she received a phone call. A logger had found a precious piece from her past, her mother's wedding ring, and she's wearing it here today. Joyce Wharton and Nick Buchanan, the man who found her mom's ring, join us now. Hey, Nick, good morning. Good morning, Nara. How did you find this ring, and how did you decide to spend so much time and so long in restoring it to the family? Well, I'd heard about the plane crash, and uh, it was just, uh, I'm an avid hiker, and a uh, treasure seeker, so to speak, and I had uh, made numerous trips to the plane, and uh, I was just looking for whatever treasures I might find there, and lo and behold, uh, one of my trips, I found that ring, and uh, it took me a long time to ever get it to where it belongs, but I'm very happy that it the and, right person has it now. And, and so, Nick, you went on Ancestry.com and you tracked down Joyce Wharton, who's sitting me, with me here th this morning. Um, good morning, Joyce. Good morning. What do you want to say to Nick Buchanan <laughs> right now in terms of restoring this beautiful ring, your mother's heirloom, to you? Love you, Nick. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh. It was uh, the most wonderful gift I think I... I could have ever received and I think it's a miracle first of all that my parents were ever located and second that you found the ring and were the kind of person who persevered and returned it to me it means so much when did you last see the ring Joyce the last time I saw this ring um, I saw it on my mother's finger in 1959 but they lived in San Antonio and this was before they took off for Washington State to visit her brothers. And a terrible, terrible tragedy. Hey, Nick, how long did it take for you to track down Joyce and her family and restore this ring? Well, I found the ring in 97, and uh, of course, technology had not evolved to where it is today, and so I spent going on to 20 years before I could ever get up with this, you know, and uh, uh, actually, a nephew and a friend of his who had done a lot of research on Ancestry.com, and that's how we finally located Joyce and her family. Uh, Joyce, do you believe in fate? Do you believe that certain things are kind of preordained to happen? What rushes through your mind when you look at this ring? And then you also think about the humanity of a man that you never met, that you may never meet, that had the presence of mind to say, I want to restore this to the person who would really enjoy it and really understand the love that, that it means. I don't believe in fate, but I'll tell you something. I do believe in God's will, and our prayer was that we would find my parents' remains, and that was answered. And my other prayer was that, if possible, that this ring that meant so much my mo to my mother would be found, and I just believe it is an answer to prayer. Yeah. yeah I think Nick's an answer to prayer, too. <laughs> Nick, uh, in our last 30 seconds, Nick, what do you want to say? Well, I'm just very happy to have gotten it to you, Joyce. That's where it's been, it's been a long, long time wish of mine to find the family. And most of all, my greatest wish was to find the family you did it. that they had a daughter to turn this over to. Answered prayers, Joyce Wharton and Nick Buchanan. Thanks for both being here. A great American Thank story. You. We'll be Thank back you. with more on Fox and Friends. Good to see you both. Thank you. I'm really into this car, but how do I know if I'm getting a good deal? I tell True Car my zip and which car I want. And True